Covid test today. Go onto the London Landmarks Half Marathon website and then enter the results. Yeah, I feel like the form that you that you're negative. <laughs> More positive. More positive. Negative. Just out for a little run. Very easy. Do some stretching. Test my back. And see if there's any problems. Feels quite sore at the moment, but mobility's better. So hopefully, get a little blood getting through it. I'm gonna have an Epsom salt bath tonight, and then uh, stretch again. And hopefully, after a good night's sleep, I wake up with a much stronger back. That's the idea. Oh, it's a nice view, isn't it? chicken and peas and egg and there's other vegetables in there got some sushi miso soup some cucumber water i'm gonna have an epsom salt bath later to relax the back just having an epsom salt bath i've been on a 5k easy run super light but uh, i also felt a few jolts of locking pain very small tiny tiny ones during that so it's definitely not healed but it's doable for running whether i can run fast we'll find out tomorrow try to relax and loosen those back muscles help it help it recover for tomorrow got some hair dye as well give it a bit of a glisten for tomorrow <laughs> Race morning, my back's still tight, so I got a plan though to shorten my stride and increase cadence because when I try to 
open my stride up, I can feel quite a bit of tightness in the lower back. So I've been thinking, keep the stride length a little bit shorter than normal. It might give me a little bit of a chance. That's the plan. Of the National Gallery. So right at the very top end of the square, that's where you'll enter in. Here we go then, into the last 20 minute countdown before the first wave. Well, everything is in place. The route is looking brilliant. The charity cheering stations are out there. Around 13.1 miles. is pretty decent but it is going to get warm but it's important that you stay hydrated always a heart rate's probably sky high so a huge shout out to team tommy's to all of our runners today you did such a brilliant job I know everyone at Tommy's is so grateful and so proud. It is 215 different charities represented here today. We've waited an awful long time for this. The lightning wave is being lined up. come down to this a dodgy back in the last week of training I'm just gonna try and stick with this 130 pacer Let's see how the back holds up well this is amazing that we're running it's amazing that we're running today so I'm looking whatever happens shoulder bars and everything Right, let's try and focus on the form. <coughs> Gotta make sure I hold this GoPro tight. Keep getting shoulder bars and clipped. Already, look at them views. <laughs> Can't ask for more, can you really? Nice weather, nice and cool. Great views. Just needed to open up a little bit more. It's a little bit cramped here on this bridge. Very tight on this bridge. Everyone's dust stuck in, can't really uh, overtake anyone, not that I think I can, heart rate sky high, but yeah it's pretty tight, just gonna stick with this 130 pace for now, see how it goes. I don't know if you can hear me, it's pretty loud. It's just, just gone past 5k, 5.3k, average pace 412. It's, uh -oh, the roads have opened up, so I decided to take the 130 pace to keep him behind me. I don't even look, so I don't want to twist my back. Oh, there's a water station here. I better take some water, even though I've got my own. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, I've got to open it. I've got to put this down to open it. Let's go through this. Oh, that was a nice a little rain tunnel. Not really needed, but it was cool, wasn't it? 
Dom says 10K, just past the 10K sign. Dead accurate. Running at uh, average pace 410. Uh, again, I don't look round to see where that pacer is. I don't want to twist my back, you see, because I've locked in a decent form and I want to keep it. So I just got to make sure that 130 pacer does not pass me and I should be good to go. The back is tight. My cadence, picking it up, but my stride, keeping it really short, because if I do extend it, sort of arches my back a little bit, because it's so tight, I've seen it. Oh, it's really opened up now, a lot of space. I see where I'm heading. to get you in. 12k in, 4.11 pace. point six k average pace 410 oh it's getting brutal now though i have to stop talking eighteen point three k 409 average pace this is real tough now I've got to dig deep I'm not sure I'll be able to feel much more I'm real real struggling I've got to dig deep I'll see you in a bit Trying to push at the end, but to do that, I had to open my stride. But obviously, if I open my stride, I can feel the pulling on the back, pulling on the back of the lower back. Oh, I can't get my words out. Oh, oh I'm so high right now. I was in the world on my own back there. Thank you, thank you. Woo. Yeah, you get your tan you want. Yeah, I think so. How are you? Yeah, I think so. I'm not even checked. Yeah, I, I, was to to I was just trying to hold on. I was just trying to hold on. I was ahead on. of the 1.30 marker, so yeah, and yeah, I was you behind, behind him. I was behind him to start. So, oh, yeah. all right, well done, yeah. Positive. Anyway, oh. yeah. Nice well one, done, boss. Cheers, buddy. Let's get a goodie back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, that was, that was the hardest race I've ever run because the back was just always reminded me like if your form was off you got to protect that back so oh I'm so glad that's over I'm telling you this is so different to doing time trials your heart rate's elevated there's other people there yeah. racing and adrenaline's sky high oh my god i like went into a different world during that race probably around 18 19 19k 20k mark i was in a 
I was in a different world. My eyes were just forward. I could hear a crowd everywhere, but I was just focusing on the path ahead and just holding on because my insides were just freezing up. I just got my GoPro out, held it. I hope I've got some good footage. Held it forward and prayed for the best. When you put your mind to it, you just have to go into a different level. Right, so, just stretched down, cooled down now. I'm in a much uh, better state of mind now. Just gonna go through this goodie bag. I've got me medal. There you go. It's the shard. And it opens up as well. Like that. Got some natural spring water in a can. Got the London Landmarks t-shirt here. Some crazy colours going off. Snacks here. Organic fruit twist. Snazzy carbohydrate and a bit of protein. And what's that? Sweat band. Not sure I'll use that. But iron rich water, vitamin C. I don't know what that is. Uh, that's about it. And some leaflets and a bag. It was all about raising money for Macmillan and just taking myself to reach a goal. And I did it. To say that on Tuesday this week I could not even walk properly. I'm not kidding you. I was hunched forward all day at work and then the Wednesday was not much change and I was really worried and I just, you know, all through the week I'm just doubting, doubting if I could even run it or race it. Um, and then, you know, I saw my friend Matt Kennedy. You're an absolute legend. I mean, he was... He massaged me, spent about two hours nearly, on Thursday evening. Um, he did massage, he did cupping. Uh, he even wanted me to come in on Friday before I went to London to rock tape my back and things. And uh, So shout out to Matt and Laurie Brown as well. Uh, thanks for you know reaching out to give me some CBD balm. I've been applying it like mad morning, night since Thursday and I got it. And I think it's helped. You know, the inflammation came right down. From the Thursday to the Friday, the jump in recovery was massive compared to like the Tuesday to the Wednesday and Wednesday to the Thursday. A combination of those things have just absolutely increased the recovery rate so fast. So if I just recap what uh, my strategy was, I wanted to stay with the pacer, 130. I knew if I stayed with the 130 pacer, I could uh, just make sure I didn't get too far away from my goal. And then I thought when it opened up, because it was very tight at the start, it was quite difficult to overtake people. And a lot of people were clipping into each other. So you had to be really careful because going at you know, speed, when you clip someone's legs, you could fall over and things. So everyone's sort of just trying to maintain a steady pace. When it opens up and the pack starts to divide, and that's when you can plan your sort of pacing strategy. So. I decided when it opened up, I was going to take the 130 pacer, keep him behind me and then just keep it like a, a game of cat and mouse sort of thing. Make sure I'm way ahead of him. Then you know you're going to be sub 130 near the goal. The last three, four K start to really work into it. I think I filmed at 18 K just to say, look, I can't talk really much anymore. Let's just concentrate. So, And then I got it out for the final, but I just couldn't, you know, I couldn't talk much on it I just filmed I think um, my insides were just freezing up couldn't breathe properly and I was just holding on holding on holding on oh when I finished when I crossed that finish line it was just like heaven I wanted it to end so bad near the end so yeah that's the London Landmarks half marathon done I'm waiting for my wife now she was going for sub 2.13 so yeah, thank you everybody who donated to the cause. Thank you. PB? Yes! What 2 five or something? Wait for chip time, but you got it, yeah. didn't you? You definitely yeah. got it. Amazing. PB's all round. 
I mean, like you see the crowd and like yeah, the cannon. Yeah, it was so cool. Like, you see them bubbles. Yes, I love them more. Did you go through that water? I did. I did a lot.